Without the calculator now, we're going to try and work out calculations in standard form. When you're working out big questions like this, like 8 times 10 to the 11, multiplied by 5 times 10 to the 3, what I would do, I would work out the 8 times first, 5 bit first. So 8 times 5, and then I've also still got the 10 to the 11 times 10 to the 3. So this is using the rules of what we know from multiplication, and also using the rules of indices. So if I'm doing 8 times 5, 8 times 5 is 40. And then we got 10 to the 11 10 times 10 to the 3. So what, when you've got 10 to the 11 times 10 to the 3, what we did earlier, when you got the same base, you add the powers. So that one would be 10 to the 14. But that is easy, but there's one extra step now. What you should realize is our number's got to be between 1 and 9.9. So because I want it to become 4.0 and not 40, what I basically need to do is add another power because I because I need to make it another... Because my answer is going to be 4, and 4 times 10 is 40. I've actually got to times that by 10 because what I'm actually doing, if we just listen to this, i got 4 times 10 to the 1 because 4 times 10 makes the 40. So what I need to do then is actually add the power so it becomes 4 times 10 to the 15. So you've got to remember, when it gives you one that's too big like that, you've got to add the power on on the end, because I need to times it, because you need to put it, it's got to be between 1 and 9.9. .9. So that one becomes 4 times 10 to the 15. Because when I told you about standard form, standard form has always got to be between 1 and 9.9. .9. So because it's 40, it's too big. Let's do another one like that, just to make sure you understand that concept. So if I'm doing 6 times 10 to the 7, multiplied by 3 times 10 to the 2. So if I'd be working that out, I'd be doing 6 times 3 is 18. Do you get that? 6 times 3 is 18. And then 10 to the 7 times 10 to the 2. So I've done 6 times 3 times 10 to the 7 times 10 to the 2. 10 to the 7 times 10 to the 2, you add the powers. So it becomes 10 to the 9. But the problem is, it's got to be between 1 and 9.9. .9, and that's too big. 18 is too big. We need it between 1 and 9.9. .9. So what i got to do, because I need to put it between 1.8. 1 1.8 1 .8 times 10 is 18. So I've got to times that 10 to the 9 by 10. Because I've pretty much got this. So what I'm actually doing is I need to times it by 10. So it becomes 10 to the 10 then. Some people just like to remember when I move it back once, 1. So when I divide it by 10, I've got to add the power on. So some people will just remember it that way. And that will be 1.8 times 10 to the 10. That's when you multiply in. Let's go through one where you divide in. So if I got a question like um, 9 times 10 to the 6, divided by 9 times 10 to the 4. Right, you're asking yourself, what is 9 divided by 9? 9 divided by 9 is 1. So that becomes 1. It's always times 10. And then what you've got now is 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the 4. When we divide indices, we take them away. So that one becomes 1 times 10 to the 2. Because you're doing 9 divided by 9 is 1. Because 9 divided by 9 is 1. And 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the 4. When you divide them, you take them away. So it becomes 6 take away 4. So it becomes 10 squared. Let's do one more. And then we'll go through some more. So if I got 8 times 10 to the 7. Divided by 2 times 10 to the 3. Right, let's have a little look at this one. I got 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 2, 4, 6, 8, so it's 4. Because 8 divided by 2 is 4. I've now got times 10. And now you're going to do 10 to the 7 divided by 10 to the 3. So when you divide indices, you take them away. So 7 take away 3 is 4. So that one becomes 4 times 10 to the 4.